Hello, welcome to Frank's School. Uh, this is the 39th day of the fifth year, first video, and uh, there'll be more, second, third, fourth. Uh, I'll probably call them all the 39th day. This is in fact in real time uh, New Year's Eve, uh, the 31st of December 2015. And what I want to do today is give a sort of a state of the school presentation. In the United States, the president, I think every year, gives a State of the Union speech. Well, that's sort of what I'm doing. I, I'm going to explain how, what's the condition of Frank's school. Uh, in the past, at this point, I have done prospecting. And if you look at the playlists and look, look up prospectus, you'll, you'll find a list of them. Uh, well, they're over. There came a point where I realized, you know, I thought, well, it's time to do a prospectus. But I decided, no, a prospectus is a look into the future. I decided, no, they're over because the school has begun. It sort of began on its own almost. There wasn't an opening day, a grand opening on such and such a day, Frank's school opened. No, it's, it's, but it's going, it's on. It, that had a lot to do with the fact that I now have some apprentices. They're, they're still in school. I don't see them nearly as much as I would like, and they don't come as much as they would like. But the fact that they saw an opportunity to learn. About three or four boys, I'll still call them, but they're almost young men. They saw an opportunity to learn, and they come here to, to help and to learn. I think that maybe tipped it. And that's when I realized, okay, the school is not just a dream. It's happening. Uh, I am no longer alone in what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, not quite. Now, I've always had, or for five years or at least, I've had Shirley, my German friend. She has helped me with everything to the extent that she could in Germany. Uh, and I also have, for uh, the last year and a half or so, I've had two workers that for a couple hours, for a few hours, I've paid them to come help me, uh, Adam and Andy and you've probably seen them. But that's not the same. Uh, well, she's the same, but, but when, uh, when you pay somebody to come help you, that's not the same. Uh, I have Millers now. Uh, the uh, uh, Nelsons uh, and his family, they come to mill their corn, and, uh, to, uh, to shell it and to uh, crack it. Uh, and so in a way, the, the mill, <laughs> the grist mill, was suddenly born. Uh, Eventually, I want to have working guests that actually stay here, guests. But that's going to, I'm not going to, I don't know if I'll be ready even this year for that because they have to, they're going to have to be a hardy sort if they ever really come. They may actually have to camp out in the woods or something. And I may eventually have woofers. Uh, those are uh, worldwide opportunities on, on organic farm workers. I, I, I won't explain about that now. But, uh, but anyway, I, so eventually I may get much more help. Oh, and another thing, I realized that, that uh, th there will be, as everybody who comes here is going to be a student teacher, uh, and myself include, include a, student, a student teacher. Uh, they, they will come here Ideally to teach. Well, I'm sure they all will. Even somebody that knows nothing will still teach. But there'll be students as well. Both student teachers. Uh, there'll be no, here's a teacher and here are students. No. Andy and I, when we work together, we are student teachers. We're both teaching and learning. Uh, and I said, now I'm, oh, I, I sort of skipped this. One of the things that I realized is I am teaching and learning Bilchbug. That's what I'm teaching. Building cheap but good. I think that's better than batch bug. Uh, bilch bug. Building cheap but good. Uh, that's the way I build. Even if I had lots of money, I'd still do it that way. Because of the moral issue of, of actually not, not consuming things. Uh, well, and I don't dare launch into that. But when I realized that I'm actually teaching, I realized, no, no, this isn't a prospectus anymore. It's, it's going on. Now, in the first four years of uh, Frank's school, what I taught was more academic and then very much about European travel, four times. Uh, uh, f 
four times in, in those each of those four years I traveled to Europe and then uh, gathered what I could to teach about what I had done. This year, uh, no, it's going to be much more uh, outside, not nearly so academic, and, and I don't plan to travel again to Europe until probably at, at the conclusion of this year. Uh, all right, uh, things that have happened. I, I've, I've, in the past year, I found that I could buy lumber from a sawmill, new lumber, actually fresh off the saw, uh, sawmill, and that has made a world of difference. I have a vast supply, I have had a vast supply of pallets. That's going to dry up eventually, probably. Um, and, and it could be worrisome. It's probably worrisome to my family because there's pallets everywhere. But I also am building a pallet saw. I'll be able to saw them up quite easily, I believe, and, and they will make firewood. I have begun 12. I thought it was going to be 7, but actually recently I've added 5 more <coughs> little huts. They've st I've started them. I've got them off the ground. Uh, and uh, they're smaller than 100 square feet, so they're not, uh, you can build anything you want uh, here, uh, and uh, they're not taxed since they're so small. The roofs are waiting all over the place. It's one of the reasons that, that it looks so derelict uh, around here, because I've let the roofs go. I, I'm working my way up. I'll get to the roofs. The workstations have begun to interact. By that I mean if, if I need something electrical, uh, I now have the workstation or the, the, the things gathered that I have available that are electrical. Um, you know, instead of, I don't know how to explain that. I mean, there's carpentry tools and they're beginning to define themselves more clearly and to be able to interact and that really helps. If I need to have some hydraulic jacks to jack stuff up, I know where they are. Uh, I know where that station is. And the various collections that I have are sort of migrating toward their final destination. You'll be seeing, when I go out and walk around and film, you'll see a collection of pumps. You'll see a collection of, uh, of sprockets and, and gears and flat belt pulleys and V-belt pulleys. The collections are migrating. Many of them I'm getting from the fields where I had, in desperation, I had to take them out and just put them on a pallet in a field because I didn't have any place to put them. But they're gradually migrating to their final destination. And uh, what I mean here is I, at a certain point during the year, or maybe before, I accepted the village layout that this ground had been prepared to be a village. And that village was laid out square, streets at right angles. I accepted that. I stopped fighting it all the time. I still, what I do with water and if what I do with gardening or farming, will be on a contour. But for the where the buildings are, I've accepted that. And wherever possible, wherever the uh, archaeological remains are become evident, I honor the streets and the, and the foundations that have once been there as I try to find out what they were. So I accepted that. Uh, and I also accepted at a certain point that this village was extractive. By that I mean it was to extract resources from the mountain, uh, timber and uh, iron ore. Iron ore, well, I mean maybe that was always obvious, but it was, it was not a village in the midst of farms. It wasn't about farming, it was about extraction. And that's turning over to instruction, actually. It's going to become a village of learning and teaching. Um, so that I accepted the extractive nature of it. I have some handicaps. <laughs> My health, for one thing, I didn't mention that, but uh, this year it's there's a little bit of a race. To, uh, to, I'm I'm going to be I'm going to turn 70 in about a month, and my body is wearing out. Uh, I've had a broken rib. I I began to get dizzy spells. I, this wrist completely played out at one point. And I didn't know if it was going to come back. Uh, I have to be careful of these injuries because I, I really feel this year I, I can't afford to get hurt. Uh, not, not this year. Later, after this year, I can probably kick back. So there is that. But also money. I, I'm working with almost no money, which is a handicap in a way. But it, it, it also become, it, it contributes to building ch 
cheap but good. Uh, mo ha having enough money to just buy stuff new can actually be a problem. But you know, I and 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 actually, if I could afford to hire more people, at the moment, I don't know if that would help that much because I have to be there and I can only work so fast. Uh, Bilchbug is new, <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, well, in any case, and then the other thing is engines. Uh, I don't. I, I, I am not prone to use engines uh, like lawnmowers. I, I, ha, I don't own a riding lawnmower. Uh, I do have a tractor. I have a garden tractor. Uh, somewhere around here there's a weed whacker. But I don't tend to use engines. And if you would take engines away from other people and then see what stuff looks like, stuff would get so wow all of a sudden. So, so you know, well, uh, anyway, I, I do have goats now. I'm going to go outside uh, in the next videos or two, but I'm not going to go in great detail. I'm going to take a walk around the campus, and I will show you, and that way I will leave a record of what has developed over the past year. Well, I'm sorry if this has been a little bit long, but when I go outside, I won't have so much to explain. We can just be looking at things. Bye for now.